Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I've been having so much fun with my M5 Paper E-Ink development kit that when I saw this inexpensive TTGO T5E paper board, I thought I'd give it a try. This video will show how to get started with the TTGO T5E paper board. There are a lot of questions and answers on the product page. Follow the link to the GXEPD library on GitHub. Of course, you should already have the Silicon Labs CP210X driver installed. Here, in Devices, you can see the serial or COM port being used. Under File, Preferences, Additional Board Manager URLs, you need the Espressive URL here. In Board Manager, make sure you have installed support for ESP32 boards. Now, we can choose the ESP32 dev module on the correct serial port. Let's go to the GXEPD library on GitHub, download the zip library, under Sketch, Include Library, Add Zip Library. We browse to that zip file we downloaded and click OK. In Library Manager, you also want to make sure you have the Adafruit Graphics library installed. Now we're ready to try out examples here under the File Examples GXEPD section. Let's start with GXEPD example. You need to uncomment the Define LilyGo T5V213 line. Lewis gives us a big clue here. The current LilyGo uses the Ink Screen version DEP G0213BN. So uncomment this line for the 2.13 black and white display from DKE Group. Let's upload that. This will take a while, so we'll be right back. There we go, the upload has gone through. It looks like we want the serial monitor open to see the Wi-Fi setup portion of the program at work. Let's talk through the example program while we watch the T5 cycle through the displays. There are functions defined for SD card, speaker, and Wi-Fi. In setup, the speaker, Wi-Fi, and SD card functions are called. I did not see any indication that the SD card bits worked even though I had a 16 gigabyte FAT32 card inserted. I don't have a speaker attached either. You see the Wi-Fi test feeds back in the serial monitor with a list of SSIDs that are detected. In the loop portion of the program, the draw corner function is called drawing squares in the corners of the screen. Next, the show font function displays sample text on the screen. Finally, the screen is cleared, powered off, and the ESP32 enters deep sleep. Now, let's work with the next example to apply some things we learned here and see how we might be able to modify the program further. This is the GXEPD minimum example sketch, and ultimately it just shows Hello World. So why didn't I do this first? Because you have to modify it to make it work at all. First, we have to copy this display class we use in the GXEPD example. That's this 2.13 black and white display from DKE Group. Next, we need to copy the two lines of constructor code. I don't see any other comments that we need to address, so let's upload this to the board. Darn, we have a bunch of errors. It reads as though we are still missing something. Let's grab a couple more lines of code from the GXEPD example. Paste them at the top here and upload again. All right, there we go. <laughs> Hello world. It's really tiny and the screen rotation is not ideal. Please comment down below what you would do to print Hello world in a bigger font and a better orientation. What we just did here should help you get started working with the TTGO T5 e paperboard. I'm going to see if I can do something more useful and practical. All right, stay tuned and thank you very much. So, make sure to check all the links in the description down below. 
please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.